My name's Justine Evans and I'm a wildlife filmmaker. I filmed wolves and large carnivals all over the world for people like BBC and National Geographic. In this series of short video guides, I'm going to show you how to track and hopefully get shots of one of the UK's wolf packs. In this short clip, I'm going to show you how to identify wolf paw prints. And I'm on a main trail here with a small stream and I've just found some fresh prints down here. So let's take a look at those. There's two lovely fresh prints here. We're very near the main trail. It could be dogs, but they're very large. The general rule is if they're longer than 10 centimeters, it's most likely to be a wolf. Very few dogs have prints that large. Wolf prints tend to be more spaced out. The four, the four toes at the front and the pad at the back makes it longer, a longer print altogether. And um, they tend to have a sort of more rectangular overall look, whereas dog prints are much more compact. But the general rule is that size, if it's very big, it's most likely wolves. And these ones went up the hill that way. Perhaps the biggest distinguishing feature between wolf and dog prints is what it says about behavior. Wolves tend to move in a straight line, whereas dogs tend to move swerving around, sniffing and scenting, and the pattern is much more erratic. 